All right, so I'm back with uh, another short video. Um, hopefully, it's gonna be a short video. Um, I just want to talk about a problem that I've been having and how I solved it. And it's actually a very simple solution. And I, I think people um, that have this similar problem might might uh, be interested in this. Um, uh, so um, I don't know if you guys use 3D, but if you do you will know that kinematic body is a little bit and also collision it's a bit finicky um, specifically getting this function is on floor working properly um, and I kind of managed to get it working properly and I'll explain how I did it and what my situation is um, what my issue is in the game um, and I should run it first Let, let's let's run it okay so so this is my game. This is how it looks like. I've been continuing my game. This is me. And this is the world. I can actually full screen, right? Yeah. Um, all right. So right now I have a speed of two, which is about the size of one of these blocks. So it's two by two by two. So it means every second I should step about uh, one block. So one, two, it's about, it's about one block, right? And then I have this ramp here okay um and you will notice that when i go up i'm very slow you see that but when i go down i'm really fast okay and why okay so um so before i leave i'll show you uh before i exit the, the test notice this this is grounded here okay so you notice that it's actually reporting correctly okay so um if I go here, it's false, true. If I go here, false, you see? Boom. So you notice that it's grounded, all it's using is zone floor, right? So it, it works, okay? But, um, so, oh, okay, so creature and controls are separate, uh, two separate uh, nodes, because, um, so this is the actual creature and this is the controls, my controls, right? The key, keys and presses and stuff. I go old school, I just use the keys, I don't even use the input mapping. Um, so, um, the problem is, okay, so this one works fine, but in order to, to get that working, I had to apply a consistent pressure down on the object. I found that what's, what's going on is, uh, oh, I think it might be clipping a little bit, huh? Let's see, hopefully it does not clip too much. Uh, what's happening is that the object it, it, touching the floor is not enough, right? The object actually has to dip dip inside the floor just a tiny bit, right? It has to actually go inside the floor. Um, so when I'm when I'm on when I'm grounded, I I apply a light pressure. When I'm not grounded, I apply full gravity pressure, which is minus four, I think. So I, I apply minus one. I found that minus one works the best with corners and all other issues. So I'm, I never get any problems now. Or is on is grounded. Is on ground. Always works, right? Is on floor. Sorry, always works, right? But this value here is is affecting my angle vectors, like my slope vectors. So when I go, when I sorry, I'm, I should look at the camera. When I go up, it's minus one plus this. So the actually, it's actually the 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 velocity up is reduced but when i go down the velocity down is increased right because of the gravity all right so i was looking for a way so that when i go up the slope down the slope okay or any other slope it's always this consistent speed okay that's what i've been doing so you see here i've been trying to kind of figure out like the uh i was trying to get the slide normal and figure out the the angle so this works this is this this is the normal sorry the normal and the up right the normal and the up will give me the angle right so this this works okay however this doesn't tell me if i'm going up or down so that's the issue with this one so now i have to i still have to keep track of my velocity right so then i was like hmm i, I spent a bit of time with this and then i figured you know what uh you know why well, maybe there's a simpler solution right and there is actually there is and, and and to do this what you have to do is uh you keep i i what i do is like i create this i created this uh velocity 
variable which is just a number right um, this represents my speed okay uh, going in all angles right so what I look, look what I do here I, I keep track of previous position from here okay minus current position the length so this is this these are two vectors so I find the difference between my previous position and my new position I get the length of it okay and then I, I multiply it by the frames per second and divide it by my speed this this gives me a, a value between 0 and 1 well or 1 is average 1 will be average above a, a 1 means I'm moving faster below 1 I'm moving slower right so let me try this one more time so you will see like not, now um, now pay attention to this this thing here right see velocity is 0 now I'm not moving when you're not moving velocity is 0 right I'm moving normally is 1 okay I'm moving up is 0.4 you see again one I'm moving down point two so what's happening is certain areas look I'm moving like a little bit here I'm moving just a little bit here I'm moving eight I'm moving two I'm moving three two so so d depending on how you collide with things they can slow you down they can speed you up and so forth um, Godot's physics is kind of broken actually uh, i hope they're going to fix it sometimes because it, it, all you need is should uh, is touching the object you should just need to touch the object not to be inside the object to produce a collision uh i'm not sure like i'm not sure i i, I hope i hope there's a lot of issues like the 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 jitter uh when there's no no gravity you have to apply consist consistent force continually like i cannot have no gravity like I have to always have some sort of a gravity right now with the system. Anyway, so then I have this number. And also notice notice this is my position. Notice this value here. When I move. Okay, you look, you look. So when I'm moving, uh, actually it doesn't happen all the time. So when I'm moving, sometimes this dips. Oh yeah, there you go. You see that? One, nine. One, 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 nine. It dips down. So when I'm moving, I'm actually deep. Uh, when I'm moving, I'm I'm a little bit lower inside the ground. Makes no sense, but okay, sure. You know, just by a little bit though, just by a little bit, like a, a tiny fraction. But I'm I, I, when I, when you move, you're actually d uh, inside the ground. When you're standing still, you're actually a little bit uh, higher. I don't know. Sorry, I'm looking at my screen over here, but I should be looking at this. Um, anyway, so. So this velocity, what, I, what I'm doing right now is actually it's a very cheaty and simple and hacky way, but it actually works. Okay, so I'll show you, I'll show you it in action. So what I did was, what I do is like I do the movement here, I, I normalize, all right, so I do my movements here, I normalize them, I multiply by my speed, then I adjust my velocity, right? So then I add, okay, movement vector again, so this movement vector plus movement vector times 1 minus velocity right one minus why my one minus velocity one is my the default and if the velocity is is uh positive or negative then i want to subtract or add i think i think that's how it works right anyways well, and then now that i do this you'll notice that this velocity here is going to be all screwed up like nothing will make sense anymore because it's not it is no longer accurate right because i'm consistently every frame i'm adjusting but notice whoop i'm going fa as fast and as slow if you actually calculate this it should be about average so i didn't have to play with normals i didn't have to get the normal of the surface i didn't have to get the slope I didn't have to do anything all i all i did was i i created a magic number that represents how fast i'm moving and I'm always keeping my guy moving as fast in, in, in any direction, sloping. So, so I can go 90 degrees if I, if I could. If I could go 90 degrees, I should be able to uh, add the, velo the necessary velocity. Simple. It's like a really simple fix. So I'll show you. I should share this code, actually. But, uh, you know, th th this is um, a slope, ad slope adjustment, right? So this is all I do. Previous position. I, I collect my previous position right before 
my moving slide. So right before I move a slide, I preserve the previous position, okay? And then I use it again here. Minus current position. So this previous position is saved, right? So this movement slide happens. And when it goes back here, this movement slide, right, is going to be used over here. But this is saved from before, right? So this minus this, essentially is this minus this next time around, okay? And then that length, that's the magnitude, right? So I find the difference between my previous position and my current position, right? And then I find the magnitude of that. Okay, I could also normalize it here or something like that, but um, I want to get I want to get the actual value right and then times uh, uh, FPS divided by speed uh, To be honest, I don't know why this is I Think there's a reason this experimentally. I've I've, I've uh, figured this out um, So what's happening here? I think Okay, I think is this is what's happening, okay? I'm moving one unit. You, you see how I'm normalizing it down here? And then time speed. So I'm moving it one unit every frame. Every frame. So you have 60 frames per second, then you move one unit. But then you move it one unit times the amount of speed. So in my case, it's two, right? So then I move it, I move two units every frame per second, right? So then I want to do times frame per second divided by you want to do the opposite of this right so then one is average about uh, over one is above average under one is below average okay so then i and then i adjust my vector simple oh man i should i should look in, man i never look in the camera man that's so bad i was just looking at my obs there you know, I thought I thought it was very simple. It's actually very simple. I was like, man, there's there gotta be look look at look what I was doing before. I was going to like all these like crazy complicated formulas. Garbage, garbage. You don't need this. Boom, bam. Trash. You know, I was like trying to get the the the, the slope. Like I was like, okay, what's the angle of the slope? Okay, let me keep track of the direction. You don't need all that stuff. Simple. It's like a really simple fix. You know. Um, and this is 45 degrees, so that's the maximum I can go and I only do three slides. Anyways, that's all I wanted to share for today. I've been working hard and uh, going to school and um, I'm also working, uh, I have a, a job, programming job, so I just had no time. Like, I have no time to work on this, like it's been taking me years, it's taking me years to finish a project. Well, not, not necessarily years, but once in a while I work on it. I also re remade it so many times because there were a lot of issues. Um, uh, yeah, there were a lot of uh, a bunch of problems with uh, what I had before, so I had to change it up. But anyways, um, that's it. That's all I have to, to show. All right, so I, I hopefully I want to make more videos. So hopefully I'm gonna make a couple more. I wanted to do talk about a few other things like shaders and how to organize the project. Um, so I know that a lot of these things are already been talked about, but the thing is, like, I, I, a lot of those a lot of those videos are very like they show you like a kind of like a standardized version i'm going to show my personal pers my personalized version of the way i do things right i found there some of those methods are not necessarily straightforward you know like like for example i like simple i like simple solutions for complicated problems like like this one look it's just three lines and if we avoided me a whole bunch of functions of trigonometry just a couple lines just to, all i have to do is just subtract not and few things and that's it done so now I move up the slope and down the slope, same speed, you know, relatively speaking. You know, it's, it's, it's perception, it's about perception. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect, you just have to feel right. You know, so if the guy goes out like, like this, then it's like, okay, man, this is annoying, you know? It doesn't feel right, right? But if, if, if it feels like you're going up and down the same speed, I could even adjust it even more, you know, to, to, do, to make it even better. But anyways, I don't know if this one is correct, but it seems to be working, so. I don't know. Anyways, that's it. See you guys next time.